In this special episode of Power of Thought, we would like to pay tribute to, and expand on, the message that Carl Sagan so elegantly communicated to humanity all those years ago. He is a personal hero of ours, and we hope to honor his legacy in our own humble way. We really hope you enjoy. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever was, lived out their lives. The aggregate of our joy and suffering, thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines, every hunter and forager, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilization, every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every mother and father, hopeful child, inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species, live there, on the moat of dust, suspended in a sunbeam. The earth is a very small stage in a vast cosmic arena. Think of the rivers of blood spilled by all those generals and emperors so that in glory and triumph they could become the momentary masters of a fraction of a dot. Our forests are burning, our oceans are being emptied of life, and our people are sick with hatred. Our leaders send young men to die in war, our politicians ignore the poor, and our trash lies on the ocean floor. We are humans, the shepherds of the earth, the greatest of all that nature has produced, and this is our creation. Our creation the pillaging of our own home is no mystery. We know what is happening. We know people are dying in war, being trafficked into servitude and perishing from hunger. Yet we, the people who know what is happening, what do we care about? What do we talk about? What do we bicker and fight so ferociously about among all these catastrophes? While our leaders go about stealing and fighting each other with us as their tools for doing so, what do we find to be of the utmost importance? Pick your poison. Social status, nationalism, looks, material possession, political affiliations, our favorite divisive influencer, dietary habits, choices of descriptive verbs, religious beliefs. Should we keep going? Maybe all you talk about is sexual partners. Your gracious deeds or accomplishments. Some wild conspiracy theory the elite is hiding from you. Or maybe your thing is that you just don't care about anything. Either way, we don't care about what really matters, even when we say we do. We've been sickened by the idea that we need to be someone. We need to be this political party, this social affiliation, this illusion we feel we must construct to know who we are. Mass psychosis in an age where we can't tell the difference between truth and lies rips us from who we really are on our own. For in individuals, insanity is rare, but in groups, parties, and epochs, it is the rule. We need to stop talking. We need to learn the art and value of silence in a world of deafening noise. We must leap from the ideologies of our past into something new. Something beautiful, something unknown, something human. No more talking. No more spinning language to make problems disappear. No more killing our neighbors just for being our neighbors. No more destruction in service of a haunting past. It's time. We must make a Promethean sacrifice and give up the polluting ideals which weigh us down and turn our creative energies to new heights. For our destiny lies in the stars not the ashes of our home. But the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. If there's anything the philosophers of antiquity knew, it was the value of nature. 
are placed in a cosmic dance that, while far bigger and more complex than us, has endowed us with the ability to shape it. We have the power to craft the cosmos, to blaze a trail of creation through the stars, but we must change. If we do not, we may, all of us, die on this speck of dust. He who would learn to fly one day must first learn to walk, and run, and climb, and dance. One cannot fly into flying. Where does this leap begin, and how can we all agree to take such a leap? Well, it begins with you. That fire within you just waiting to rage is currently a smoldering ember trying to figure out what to call itself among all the made-up bits of identity humanity has created. If we are to change, you must change. You must learn how to fly, how to be yourself, and how to let everyone else be themselves. There is no mold, no ideal man or woman, no ideal family dynamic or government or economy or religion or way of life. There is only you and me. There is only us. It won't be easy, but we can learn it. And to do so, the only thing you really need to do is to learn the sight of self. The sight of self is something we can say comes after one has achieved a fair degree of individuation. After one has shed the weight of restrictions and mental self-oppression to find themselves with a capability not known before. A state of being which may well be a universal equalizer. The potential negation of all justification of hate and atrocities in this world. The capability to look into the eyes of another and not just understand their suffering, or empathize with their suffering, but to suffer. To gaze into the eyes of another and instead of a separate entity see your very self staring back at you. A true understanding of the universal human condition which binds us all. An understanding of what it means to be alive. And to never again deny such a right to another because as such would be to deny one's own. It is time to be free, for to be free is to know thyself. To know thyself is to know the world. We live our lives in the world of yesterday and tomorrow. Our lives and the suffering of our fellow humans passes us by unnoticed. If you are depressed, you are living in the past. If you are anxious, you are living in the future. If you are at peace, you are living in the present. The Buddha call it Nirvana. Nietzsche calls it being who you really are. Whatever you call it, do it. No more talking. No more bickering. Take action now or live your life on this insignificant speck of dust as the shadow of someone else's ideas. If you enjoy the topics and videos you see here on Power of Thought, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. It would really help to support us.